Oh my goodness, I am so sorry guys. Um, my sister phoned. And whenever somebody phones, and I've got everything toggled up to the phone you say, then it just cuts off the live fade. So I do apologize. So, um, so let me have a look and see where we are. Because I was looking for an, in, uh, an individual. And I was looking for a Linda. And I had sent Linda a um, message through Messenger. No, it wasn't Linda. It was a Marion Flynn. So I'm still waiting for Marion Flynn. So she hasn't she hasn't um, added me. So I have to let that go. All right. Nicola Graham, could I have a card, please? Absolutely. This is for you. And yes, I'm going to be in Porter Down on Monday, the twenty seventh of January. I am going to be in. Uh, Derry London Derry at the Waterfoot Hotel on the 30th of January on the 31st of January which is a Friday the last day of January I am going to be in the Laneymore Hotel in Balmina and I believe there are 20 tickets left for that event only 20 tickets left it's a very very small venue very bijou and small and it's ticket only 20 seats left that's all we have for Balamina on the 31st, Friday the 31st of January. On Monday the 3rd of February, I am in the Carrick, um, the Carrick House Hotel and Spa in Clocker. Um, so that's Clocker, Five Mile Town, you that kind of area, um, the something valley, Clocker Valley. So I will be there on Monday the 3rd. Ticket sales are going really well there. Um, and then I am in Monday the 10th. I'm in Belfast at the Balmoral Hotel. So, oh, Shauna, I'm so sorry about you losing your dad last week. I am so sorry about that, but I can tell you now that he's fine upstairs. And I do feel it was a long struggle. <laughs> Michelle Fleming says, was wondering what was what happened, thought it was my phone. No, sorry. It was somebody phoning me. But there we go. So thank you guys for joining. Nikita Kerr, it's a long message. Nikita Kerr, can I have a reading or a card, please? I sent you a private mail there between us because don't want it on the live video. Okay, You're amazing at what you do. I seen a reading you did before for a girl who lost her mommy. It was spot on and was amazing to hear. Nikita Kerr, I can only do this freely in front of everybody. I, I don't normally give out free readings privately. Unless, of course, Nikita Kerr, you have shared, shared, shared. Um, far and wide. Far and wide. Maybe I've misunderstood. Um, maybe I've misunderstood you. So I'm going to have a look to see where you've sent the message to me, okay? Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Nikita, um, I, I, all I can say is now that I've read your message, um, it's off whenever we lose so many people in our lives, okay? But I do feel that this is something that, you know, you're right in saying that you didn't want to write it down, okay? Um, but perhaps maybe because of the sensitivity of the nature you would be better suited to having a private sitting with me. Um, it doesn't matter whereabouts you are in the world, we can do it through a video call, um, something of that nature might, might benefit you. But but again, this is a live feed, and I'm unable to to, to either give you a, 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 a something without being it live and in front of people. It's not going to be a private thing. 
if you want something private sadly there is a price tag attached to that it's my it's my living and it's my uh, it's it's how um i make my living let me see where we are um oh jared jared coleman i lost my amazing cousin i can't get my head around it oh gerard I wonder, if, I wonder if we can speak to each other on this. I'll just have a look. Um, G E R A R D. Mm. C O L M A N. C O L M A N. -A -I -N. Oh, there we are. Again, we're not friends on this. Um, oh, look at this. Now we are. Thank you. Hey. Hey, Sharon. How are you? Go somewhere quiet. Go somewhere quiet. There he is. There he is. Nick Fox. Real person. Jared, um, your cousin, am I right that he was like pretty much like a brother to you? It was a she. Well, I got like a brother? Were you like a brother to her? Yeah. Okay. Because I kept on hearing brother. That's why I'm like, what? Okay. So um, am I also aware that this was shocker that when she passed it was a bit of a shocker for everybody although there was her. although there was something going on with her yeah a total shock but there, were, there was something going on with her but nobody ever suspected her. nobody ever thought nobody ever in their dizziest dry dreams thought about this is that correct i don't know really off now okay i i know that um i feel that she's only just gone i don't feel as if there's been a lot of time that has passed. Is that correct? A week tomorrow. That's not a lot of time. And I feel no. as if everybody's up and there's a lot of question marks around why. Does that make yeah. sense? And how could yeah. this be? And you know, and there's there's a, a lot of anguish around her passing. I, I feel as if they're the that with her as she's coming forward, there's it's like I'm pain free I'm really pain free now. Okay. Yeah. She's she's like I'm pain free. I I have I have nothing to worry about. I'm I'm okay where I am. So she she's kind of giving me that essence, but I'm also okay. aware of everyone reeling, and she's kind of like coming around people, um, that are still reeling from the oh my god, how can she be gone? All right. Are you in County Down? Yeah. What part? I'm from County Down. I'm from North Down. Where about are you? Arglass, I'd say Down Patrick. Arglass. I don't think I've ever been there. No. I don't think I've ever been there. A um, very, very small village. Is there a lot of water there? Yeah. Okay. Because she's kind of showing me a body. Well, she's giving me kind of like a wee bridge. It's like a wee tiny bridge. And then there's, okay. there's like a body of water. Okay. Do you understand why she's showing me that? Um, possibly, yeah. As long as you understand, that's all right. But I just, I just know. That I think it's, it's, she's wanting to validate, validate the area, or validate a connection to that space. But it's nearly kind of like um, I know you said Down Patrick, but is there any connections to Newcastle? Um, or the space hmm. in between. Not to the north. Okay. Okay, if you're down Patrick and then there's Newcastle, what's in between those two two places? Down Patrick and Newcastle would be Clark and Dundrum. Is there anything to do with those areas? No, she's originally from Belfast. Okay. Where did you say Dundrum? Dundrum. Okay. Would she be Dunmurray side of Belfast? North. I have no idea what but north is. But I know that there might be a dumb drum in Belfast. And that's probably why she's bringing me there. 
okay all right yeah. um but there's something about that that she's wanting to bring me to i just know that she's wanting to let you know that she's fine more than anything else but i i get the feeling that her passing am i right that it, that, that there look to be completely fair um, when, when I talk about there was something going on with her, it wasn't necessarily a physical illness. Am I right? Not that we knew of, no. But there was something going on inside her head that nobody knew of? Possibly. Okay. Because I have a feeling that she knew, she knew about her passing. She understood her passing very well. Okay. Um, and it's nearly kind of like she, she knew what was going on. I can't change what I've got here. But I need okay. to let you know that she's okay. I know that people are very angry. There's a lot of anger about how she passes because it's not normal. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. I, I, I also have a feeling and that there may have been substances that shouldn't have been embraced. Do you understand? Okay. 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 And that's something that you can check up on. But I, I'm so sorry to hear about that. But I know that you would have you would have been incredibly loved and i yeah. know that i want to make fun of you mm -hmm. i want to make you i make you into a joke do you know what i mean i want yeah. to be i want to be sarcastic with you you know mm -hmm. and yeah. um so i know that your relationship with her whenever you got together it was always mm -hmm. good fun yeah all right and she wants to leave with with happier memories is that okay yeah, yeah. I, I don't feel like you saw her for a while is that correct yeah. Okay, because she's showing me the distance in between. It's not like we were very close at one point, but then life got in the way and mm -hmm. and we moved different directions. And it's, yeah. it's such a pity you didn't get to say goodbye or to connect with her because I know that there was, you're kind of kicking yourself a little bit. God, why didn't I go when I was asked? A lot. Do you understand? Okay, so please know that she's not worrying about it. So you don't yeah. either. Is that okay? Yes, thank and you very much. And just take her love. Thank you so much. Okay, God bless you. Wow. My word. Oh, Nicole Graham, thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me. Hey, you said I could get a reading, but mention dates of your up and coming shows. You may have forgot. Okay, some guidance, please. Some guidance, please. Okay. Suffering in silence, that is your card. I'm going to say this. It's a card that says, you know what, you have a lot of tenacity. All right. If it has been, and Nicole Graham, that you are wanting to achieve loads, it's like not just a bet, I want to do everything, then I'm going to see that you're going to achieve it. All right. That suffering, that suffering in silence card, that reminds me of going to the gym. All right. <laughs> not that this body does too much. But, you know, like you go there, you do it. You, you always feel better afterwards, but while you're doing it, you don't before, you don't, you, you just really don't want to do it at all. So I have a feeling that there's something that you're going to be achieving. And I feel that whenever you've got it done, you're going to feel some massive, massive better about it. So the suffering and silence is appropriate at this moment in time for you because things are going to move in the right way. Okay. So if you can share this, guys, I'd really appreciate it. Share, share, share. All right. John Ross, Jared Quayle, did I not just read for you earlier in The Last Life Fade? Go check it out. Because I did. Jackie Bryn, J-A-C-Q-U-I-B-R-I-N-E, would love a card on a house move, please. Love a card on a house move. Spiritual union. I, I want to talk about your focus in terms of relationships because that's what's required, what is needed. Just at this moment of time. You've asked about a house. I feel that that will come when it is needed. But there's focus needed right now on your relationship. And and, and this can be um, this can be a generic thing where all you other lovely people are listening in. Because, hey, if you have a relationship, especially if you've got kids, you know, you have to remember that you were a girlfriend or a boyfriend before you were a husband or a wife or a mother or a daddy. And sometimes we got to have to feel that again. 
All right. It's part of our self care. It's part of our nurture. It's part of keeping things exciting. So that's what I would say to you, Jackie Barin. So let me see here. Oh, Marion. Marion Flynn. You can't find me. Uh, Marion Flynn. That's you. That's my message at me. Okay. All right. And the name is Fiona Stuart Williams. I can't help if you cannot find me. That's all I can say. This is what I look like. All right. Fiona Stuart Williams. Do your best. But I won't be phoning you because if I phone you, then I will cut this live feed off. So I cannot do that, Marion Flynn. I'm sorry about that. I'll tell you what, I'll just pull a card and maybe you will find me at a later date or get someone to show you. So this is for you seeing the light. If it has been that things have been tricky, things have been not necessarily good, that have been quite hard, and I feel that that has been the case for you, then we are seeing moving into a different energetic field for you where you're starting to feel more like yourself. Okay, so that's what I would say. Okay, that was for Marion Flynn. Elizabeth Magorian. Magorian. Your reading for my mother in New York has changed her life. Would love a reading. Oh, okay, Elizabeth, this is for you, Elizabeth Magorian. Okay. And we have balance, finding the right balance. I have a feeling, Elizabeth, that when we look at the balance card, that's something that we all have. It's about finding what's, what's the right fit. Okay, too much of this is not good. Too much of that, it's not good. Got to find where there is a balance. And I have a feeling that within the family, it, we can be a little bit focused. We can, we can, uh, there could be either addictive personalities or addictive um, aspects, but we are seeing bringing in the balance and where that balance comes in right for you, okay? So Elizabeth, I really hope that that has helped. Listen guys, can't believe it. Um, but yes, I am going to be in Porter Down, on, and I'm just going to put the link in here like that. There we go. That's where you can buy your tickets. Okay, Porter Down on Monday the 27th of January at the Seco Hotel, and ticket sales are going really well for that. You can pay in at the door. Um, Derry, London Derry, at the Waterfoot Hotel on the 30, Thursday, the 30th of Fe of, of January. And again, you can pay in at the door and it's £12 or you can purchase your tickets. The links are there. Balamina in the Leonmore Hotel, Balamina on Friday the 31st of January. Okay. And amazing. There's only 20 seats left. Only 20 seats left. So get your ticket if you want to go to Balamina. Clocker on Monday the 3rd of February. Um, that's just outside Oma and in between um, Enniskillen and Oma. And it's a beautiful space in the Cork House Hotel and Spa. And ticket sales are going extremely well there too. So guys, listen, it has been a joy and it has been a blessing. I've thoroughly enjoyed our live feed. Next week is most likely going to be a Sunday night. So it's going to be a psychic Sunday night because obviously Monday is going to be imported down. So yes, um, tomorrow, what am I doing tomorrow? I'm doing something fabulous. I am hosting a free Reiki um, exploration evening. And so I, I, I have offered it out to my groups um, to for individuals that want to join me here in the office to explore the Reiki potential, have a cup of tea, eat some biscuits and have a chat. And I am thoroughly looking forward to that. And that is tomorrow evening. And on Friday, I'm off to my spiritual retreat with all my lovely, lovely students. So I am super excited about that. So it's a full on week and it started off the right way in Gal Gorm, you know? So I am feeling so incredibly, incredibly blessed. But I hope to see you guys again on Sunday, 
the 2nd of February at round about 7 p.m. So I hope to see you guys then. Bye.